<laughs> well, today's show is all about will it go away on its own? And recently we received an email from Angie in Tahoma, Washington, and she writes, I always get side stitches when I run. They usually go away on their own, but how can I get rid of them quicker? They're ruining my workout. Oh. You know what? Why, why don't I show everyone? Because 30% of runners report regularly mm -hmm. getting side stitches. Mm -hmm. And it's surprising. Most people don't understand that it's actually your diaphragm. It usually does occur with running. Let's take this woman going for a run, no big deal. Well, why would she develop a side stitch? When you inhale, your, your diaphragm goes lower. When you exhale, your diaphragm pushes up on your lungs to exhale all that air. But the problem is if you're running, maybe after eating a meal too quickly, you ate too much, what can happen is that diaphragm will start to spasm. That diaphragm lives right underneath your lungs, under your rib cage, and when that starts to spasm, you can develop acute onset of side stitch pain, doubled over much like our runner here. But I get asked by patients, what's the difference between a side stitch and appendicitis? It's important to know the difference. Side stitches usually do occur after exercise, whereas appendicitis will typically start as abdominal pain, maybe around your belly button. Over time, you'll develop pain that's acute right here in your right lower abdomen. In fact, if you draw a line from your belly button to the top of your hip here, two-thirds of the way down, it's called McBurney's Point. If you have pain right in that area, it tends to be more related to your appendix. And if in doubt, you've got to get it checked out because people have mistaken, guys, appendicitis with oh, a yeah. side stitch. <laughs> that would be a but big again, a side stitch should go away. Mm -hmm. If you stop the activity, it may take a little while, but it should go away. If the pain stays over time and it's getting worse, you've got to worry about things like appendicitis. Yeah, the best thing to do is, is try to prevent it before it even starts. And in high school, I, I was a big track and field runner, ran the mile and two mile, and I would get a lot of side stitches, but I, I found a couple tricks to keep them from happening. First, warm up. Don't just get out there and just start sprinting. Uh, a full stomach will lead to side stitches. So I have the one hour rule. Try to eat at least an hour before you go running and keep the meal small, a nice simple carbs with the apple or a protein bar, something like that. And then also staying hydrated is also a great way to prevent a side stitch. Drink lots of water before you go running. So what do you do if you get it? Well, some people say that if you try the grunt exhale, you'll break the diaphragm out of that spasm. Mm -hmm. This personally has never worked for me, but let's try it. Ready? So just grunt? Uh, grunt. I don't have a side stitch though. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> can you feel it though? You can, yeah, I mean, they, basically well, you're pushing your up diaphragm. your diaphragm yeah. because every time you take a breath, it's your diaphragm mm -hmm. that is causing air to go in your lungs and then out. And if that yeah. doesn't work, there's something else you may want to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's okay. called the poke and blow. <laughs> it's not what you're thinking. It's similar. It's similar to the grunt. What you do if you have this side sits, let's say you have it typically on the right side where your liver sits, grab your side like this, put pressure underneath your diaphragm and blow with pursed lips. That I can do. That gave yeah, me a stitch. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you poke and blow and grunt at the same yeah. time? <laughs> the poke, blow, grunt. <laughs> 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 extra for that.